What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a good day. Folks, we're going to have a look at another Gigapan, this time from Curiosity, from Sal 184, Yellowknife Bay. Now, I've done this particular area, or at least one area of this picture, uh, in a video a while back. And when you see this, it's interesting because one, a lot of these stones look like they've been cut. Like there's radiuses, there's actual curvatures, there's just weird, weird stuff, right? And guess what, folks? They're not but inches in size. They're like six inches, maybe four inches, very, very tiny pieces. This is what gets your mind going. You're like, what is going on here? And then there's a couple other pieces in here that you've probably seen uh, Joe from Art Alien TV do. And I'm going to show you that as well. But it's all wrapped up in one gigapan. Of course, you guys will get the link. You know that. That's how we roll. Let's just jump right into this. This is cool. All right, you can see it right here. It's MSL Curiosity at Yellowknife Bay. Saw 184 by MPJ. I'm not sure who that is. But thank you for putting this gigapan together. It's much appreciated. And folks, really, really cool stuff. And you can see right here, the date was added June 13th, 2013. So it's been out for quite a while. We're talking almost 10 years ago, nine years. So really, really interesting. Now, let's just jump right into this gigapan. I want to show you a couple of weird rocks that just don't make any sense at all. Okay, so let's get into it. Let it drop down. Now, first thing I'm going to show you, this is kind of funny. The first thing you think of is a little stone rock uh, vehicle, which I know it doesn't make any sense, but let me show you what I'm talking about. This item here, I'll put everything in the middle of the screen, but check this out. I'm not sure to make it this round piece right here, but right off the bat, I thought, look, rear wheel, front wheel. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, folks. But what I'm saying is it's got a really weird look to it. Is it possible this thing's like a lag bolt? You can see like the piece of it right here, but look real carefully. You can see what looks like a half a square going over that. Do you see that right there? Pretty interesting, right around what looks like part of the actual bolt, right? And again, we can see this piece on the right-hand side right there, right? Okay. Let's just back out. I'm going to go right to the area that I've done a video on right here. Just some of these rocks right off the bat, folks. I'm going to zoom right in, and guess what? There's just so many different rocks here that it just don't make any sense. And there's one in here that looks like it has a carved animal on it. So get out your magnifiers for this one. I'm going to show you this. All right. Let's zoom right in. First rock always caught my eye. This one right here. It's got a nice curvature right here in the front. I'm going to call it the front because it's facing us, okay? Notice right here on the right-hand side, it's got a nice crisp edge. Goes around to the back. Goes a little bit to the left a little bit. And it seems to come out a little bit. Goes all the way across and comes back down and goes to the left rear corner. What could that possibly be, folks? Look at that. That is just absolutely crazy, right? This rock behind it and to the left. Check this thing out. Got a nice straight edge right here on the left. And look at the actual shape of this thing, right? The bottom seems to do the same. And if it does not, then whatever this thing is, this rock has a curvature to it. Now, check out the pieces right here on top of it. See that? And we have something in the back on top of it as well. Look at the actual lines in this thing, right? Right here. It looks like it's a design of something. You can see, again, something white right there. And you can see like a line going up and around it. Like it might be parts or some kind of drawing or something to that effect, right? Here's the other rock I was telling you about right here. I see, now maybe my mind and my eyes are playing games with me. I see a carved animal right here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. On the right-hand side on this rock, you have what looks like an eye right here. Looks like maybe an air right there. The forehead, it's coming down. Goes across and comes back up. That's the head of itself. Looks like it has like this small neck type thing, and then it has the body to it. You see that? Let me just back out just a little bit so it becomes a little bit clearer. You see that? Is that wild? It's interesting. We got this other rock. We'll back out here a little bit. What looks like a reflective surface, a cutout of a head. You can see what looks like an eye, maybe a mouth, the top of the head right there. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, but it has that weird look to it, right? Uh, pretty interesting, whatever this thing may be. To the right of this and up, we have this block. Check this out, right in the middle of the screen. Notice the nice shop corners. 
let's assume this is the back right here that's facing up. It comes down, but notice how it kind of slants down like it has a curved pot. So this thing is smooth on the other end of it and looks like it almost goes to a round point right there. See that? There's another interesting rock over here. This is pretty cool. Right here in the middle of the screen, this very large rock, and it has these little pieces sticking out. There's one here, one right here, and then notice the, what looks like a rectangular block or something on the side of it. See that? And folks, if you enhance this, there's much more in this photo. Much, much more. You know what the sad part about this whole thing is? Look at the actual tread marks to the wheels. They're literally running over this stuff. I see intelligently carved out rock or carved rock. One here, one here, especially this one. We got another flat piece sticking out right here or kind of embedded in these other rocks. Notice right here, you can see this rock looks like it has a shape cut out for this other block. See that? Or it's just the way it was broken off, one way or the other, right? But just these three rocks alone, one, two, and what looks like an animal. In fact, if I look at this again, there's actually two airs. There's one two, the head right here, has an eyeball up here, what looks like maybe a mouth right here that has this weird little skinny neck type thing, and then it has the body to it. Let me just back it a little bit, put it in the middle of the screen right there. Have a look at this black rock. It looks like a carved animal, and it's literally almost like raised off that black rock, right? Now, let me show you the other object. This is pretty cool. And a lot of people have seen this before. Like I said, Joe from Art Alien TV has done this and done a really good job on this. And I probably won't find it now because there's so much in here to see. And while we're looking for that rock, we can check out a couple others. If we could see, again, like I said in the last video, if we could see like a virtually untouched photo in here, I think in one way it would blow our minds to where you might be like, wow, like your mind cannot wrap itself around what you'd see but you'd be excited to see it, right? Look at this rock right here. What is going on with this thing? Folks, like I said, right from the word go, and I'm talking about, when I say from the word go, I mean starting with the photos from the moon. They started there and they have not stopped. Every photo you ever see come out is gonna be completely manipulated and, you know, basically hiding what's in, really in these photos. That's what it comes down to. Not letting us see a darn thing. He's right here. Look at this background here. Look at the way these looks like flat panel type things right here. Going straight across. You can even see like a circle thing right here. See this right here? I'll put it right in the middle of the screen right here. See that? Just random shapes out of nowhere. They just pop up. It's just absolutely absurd how much stuff is in here. It's, it's awesome. This is the object here that Joe has done. Remember this rock here? It looks like it's got an eyeball. And I think he had it almost look like, like teeth type thing right inside here. Now, I'm not so sure that's what it is. In my opinion, I believe it's something else. And it's been dressed up to look like that. If you look carefully, you can see right here, looks like you got something coming down. We can call it a design part of it, a cable. Call it what you will, but coming down and going like this here. See that? You can see this thing's been censored to block out whatever, right? And if you back out, it's right on the corner of this square patch. This is not part of the ground, folks. This is something much more uh, than just that. Because you can look around, you see what looks like little pieces and parts and stuff just laying there. And they kind of just blend in it all. Here's another thing. When you look at some of this stuff, look how some of these rocks have these like shiny corners. What I found interesting is when you look at this, it looks like busted up concrete. Now, I'm not sure that's what it is, but it does have this weird look to it. It actually looks like, like I said, it's like a concrete type thing that we would have here on Earth, right? I say the majority of the stuff here is intelligently made and is not rock. I think this is a debris field. Again, the crazy part about this is the size of these objects, right? Just this section alone, I'll put it right in the middle of the screen, screams intelligently made. This other weird looking rock here, and the way it kind of goes down, has this angle, goes down. And of course, this other block here. 
And when you pull back, look at the size of it. You can see, again, the tread marks from the wheels from the Curiosity Rover. So these things are not very big. I'm guessing six inches in size. That's pretty much it, folks. Absolutely cool stuff. Here's another thing, too, I didn't mention earlier, but when you see this rock right here in the center, look at the way it's cut out right here, around the backside, right corner. Check that out. This one here, same thing, where it almost looks like it's cut out for that particular rock. Really, really cool. Actually, now that I look at this here, it looks like there's something else carved into this one, or it's raised off of this rock. See that? Right there. Check that out. But anyway, it looks like an animal on this one. And it looks like something right there. Again, it might be my eyes playing games, but that's what I see. And there you go, folks. Folks, when I see this stuff, intelligently made, no doubt about it, in my opinion. When you see a lot of these blocks and you look at it, they have a curvature to the face of them. Well, when I call it, like I said, the face, it's actually facing you. And just the design, some of these rocks, they're long, but they have this kind of arch to them kind of thing going on and what looks like a carved animal raised off on that rock at least that's the way it looks we have that other large block and so many others in this photo and you guys will have a chance to get, really take a good look at this thing anyway folks as usual drop your comments down below let me know what you think let me know what you've seen drop a timestamp with that particular item tell me what you think it is there's so much in there folks there's so much to see you'll be there for hours if you take your time looking through it because you're going to see some really crazy looking rocks or things sticking out of these so-called crocs anyway folks got more crazy stuff coming up we got more moons so stay tuned for that you can drop your suggestions down in the bottom and tell me what you'd like to see on the channel as well just hit me up and let me know anyway folks thanks for watching always appreciated and i'll see you in the next one peace